So, welcome back to another episode. I hope all you guys are enjoying um, a little bit of a break from my videos at the moment. I'm not posting as regular, um, but I'm not going to say too much, but you guys need to be prepared because you thought I was posting videos last time, you just wait and see what's coming because um, it's going to get pretty crazy. But let's get back to the pigeons for the time being. Most of these guys are starting to come through the malt now. There is... Um, Actually, there's probably none of them. Oh, no, maybe Bluey. There's Bluey just the back there. She's probably the only one that's still sort of coming through the malt. But she's looking really good, along with everyone else. We've got lots of um, Leo Cross Storms in here. We've got some Titan ones in here as well. Um, so it's starting to look pretty good. There's a few real standout ones that I've been keeping my eye on, especially this one down the back there. That's going to be a good one to... Um, look at that thing. Not a bad looking pigeon and we definitely got um a whole bunch more of them over on the estate as well don't forget to head down into the description and check out um my other channels a lot of links there as well so go down and have a bit of a look check out my other channel see what i'm up to these guys basically what i've been doing with them is holding them in this loft here just conditioning them letting them eat a lot of nice food lots of minerals and grits things like that and just resting trying not to breed them um you know there's still some laying eggs but i'm just taking those eggs straight out i just want all these guys to be well rested and ready to um you know separate all the cocks and the hens when we do move i'm gonna have to build a loft for them um just so i can separate both of them i'm gonna build a pretty decent breeding setup i don't want to go into it too much i don't want to ruin the surprise what i'm going to get up to but we're going to get into some serious breeding um, and also start getting serious about the flyers as well because we've got this far with this channel up to 70,000 subscribers we've pretty much just this little loft you know this little loft and a couple other ones we've had previous to this has got us this far and we're just about to really step it up a notch because we definitely need to get a quite a big flock out there flying because this little loft is um it's still good, but it's just not sufficient for the plans that we do have. Um, I'm going to take this loft with us. We are moving very soon. Um, my house is nearly built over on the estate. You can see that in the links down below. And if you do um, want to see more, you can head over there. But uh, we want to take this one. This house here, this sold a couple of days ago. It sold in under 24 hours above the asking price. So things are looking good on that side so hopefully the move is quite simple and quick so we've got um we'll move before this house we need to anyway because the other ones should be finished but i won't go into too much but i'm really looking at um maybe getting the other set of these perches back out of the other loft um putting them into here so we can get this full setup back i really want to get this give this loft a bit of a birthday i really want to get it um you know completely strip it out clean everything make it spotless repaint everything uh, refix everything up because i really want to do something with this loft i'm not sure what i want to do with it if we just want to put all white pigeons in here or all barless pigeons i don't know i just want to do something special with it because i you know i really like this loft um so there's a lot of things we'll definitely take this out and turn it back into just a flying loft um whether or not we put the high flyers in here i don't know but I'm, i think i'm going to keep the homers in there and just keep it as a bit of a homage to the how this channel's gone and grown and stuff like that we definitely could look at putting some white ones in here because she's looking stunning we could definitely pair her up with one of the cockbirds even shock or titan or just someone like that because she is ready to breed she's pretty much been mating with every male in this loft that she can she's very similar to her mother um, we just need to lock her down with a, with a male and get her sitting on some eggs once we move. We could definitely soon start filling this loft. But she is a stunning little pigeon, that one. Let's get these guys down. I want to give them a little bit of a feed. I um, might cut the food in there first, actually, because they might try and sneak out. I'm definitely going to miss this place and miss this little loft set up here but uh we're on the bigger better things and i really want to give this loft a new lease in life so we might look at painting the outside as well and just really tidying up because um, it is a really cool little loft maybe opening the front back up take that shade cloth off there and really looking at some um, options if you've got some ideas what you'd like to see with this drop them down below what would you like to see in here i definitely want to put purchase all the way back along here again so we'll have 
36 perches in here so we'll probably be able to put you know 20 25 birds in here and we'll who knows but make sure to put some comments down below let me know what you want to see in here is ready to come out hang on Big Leo. He's there. Shock's starting to look pretty good too. Definitely out of that mold. He was looking pretty scruffy before. There's Leo trying to chase Storm around. Big Titan. There he is. Anyway, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Head down into the description, check out the links, and get ready for what's about to come.